you've lived your whole life forgetting the eye and seeing only what you're painting. So picture a painter that's, it starts out at a clean canvas when you're young, when you get born, it's a clean canvas. It's like, whoa, full of possibility. You're always happy. Ah. And then you start painting and you start, the more strokes you place on the canvas, the more interested you become in what happens to the strokes if they're perfect or in the beginning you're just like yeah yay look at this this is a horse but it's like something unrecognizable but anything can be anything and it's fun and it's joyful and it's spontaneous and you're still natural and you're not attached to it you just do it you're not judging it and you're not judging yourself by it you're not believing that you have anything to do with what you're seeing that's why you're so damn happy it's like i'm just seeing this shit, but it's got nothing to do with me yay <laughs> But then you get invested in the dream and you start to believe that it actually says a lot about you, that you are somehow tied to the forms that you're painting, that you're dreaming. And so you believe you're attached to what you're seeing. As a result, you start to generate lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of layers of self-image what you believe you are using pictures and words that other people told you and da 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 and it goes on and on and on and on and on until you can't feel yourself anymore and you're just this cesspool of thoughts and remember the only way to get out of it is to shut up because you don't have the clarity to dream consciously quite yet you may like that idea of you create your own reality but good luck until you clear out your closet and you know what it is you are, you will not be able to make any profound alterations in your experience. Because you'll just be slamming thoughts into different kinds of thoughts and trying to make a difference. And it makes a bit of a difference. You are the creator, but it's so frozen in concepts. The freedom, the power that you are as a consciousness, as an infinite creator, which created all the universes and all the evolutions and all the cycles, that is you too. But you've reduced it to, I don't like what this person is saying about me. That's what you, that's currently your sense of I'm the creator of my world. It's like, oh yeah, I can change that thought. But that's good. But that's about as good as it gets from this place. That's not, that's not quite um, the level that you crave at a deeper level. You want to know this. You want to know this eternal sense of I exist. You want to know that you're always safe no matter what appears. You want to know that you're always free to choose, no matter what arises. You want to know you're not the thoughts, you're not the mind, you're not the emotions, you're not the people in your life, you're not even your own people, your people, you. The people, the person that's walking around in your painting this whole time. You can stop painting a person, did you know that? You don't have to continue to paint this person in your painting, this annoying little thing. You keep painting other paintings, and then you put yourself in it. Like, <laughs> hey. The whole painting can change, but nope, you always got to be there. Oh, let me just paint this little guy here with two legs and two arms and this personality and these judgments. And you don't have to do that, you know that? You can just paint an entirely new scene and leave yourself out of it. Shut up. It's better for everything, especially yourself. Because it's in the absence of the little me, paint, repainting your little me, it's in the absence of that. It's in the shutting up that something bigger opens up to this and even begins to open up to that. Because this, just like the dream does not exist apart from the consciousness which is dreaming it or the beingness which is projecting it, so too does the whole dream and the dreamer and the consciousness not exist apart from or outside or without the absolute. When the whole dream disappears, the absolute remains. But the absolute will never disappear. It doesn't depend on the dream. That's why we call it liberation. When you have this actual penetration, direct contact experience, which is not an experience as you know it, it's an, it's an instant comprehension of infinity. As infinity, non-separate, you are infinity. Therefore, there's nothing else appearing to you. You're not aware of a world because that duality, that only exists in the illusion. So in that moment, why do we call it liberation? It's because it's liberating. It's freeing to realize that none of anything ever in creation, not a comet slamming into the earth, not 
the universe disappearing, not your mom disowning you, not your partner leaving you, not your physical body dying, not your endless journey as a soul throughout tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of lifetimes and incarnations, that none of that has ever actually happened to you. That's liberating. 